bodies have a center of gravity and all the shapes have a centroid. Often these two terms are used interchangeably. Let's understand how they are different from each other. Center of gravity is the point where the entire weight of the body is assumed to be concentrated. Simply put, it is the point on which you can balance the whole body. For example, if you take a book, you can balance the book on a single point on one finger. That point is the center of gravity of that book. It applies to all the objects and bodies. Try any object in your home and you will be able to balance it at a single point. Now, what is centroid? Centroid is similar to center of gravity but we use it only in the cases of planes. A 2D plane has no mass but it has area like a rectangle. So centroid is the geometrical center of the plane. It is the point where the whole area is assumed to be concentrated. The difference is so minimal yet very important. Centroid is the point where the area is concentrated and COG that is center of gravity is the point where the whole weight of the body is concentrated. In this chapter, we will be discussing about the centroid of plane figures. We need to calculate the centroid of each plane figure. That means finding out x and y coordinates of centroid on the figure. We call these coordinates as x bar and y bar. Bar on x and y is used as a reference to note the fact that they are the coordinates of centroid. Before we get to the derivation of centroids of few simple shapes, we will go through some of the basic terminologies. We need to be aware of different types of axes while solving the problems on centroid. The first one is the reference axis. These are the axes with respect to which the centroids are calculated. The plane figures will be under these axes. They are called as x-axis and y-axis. So wherever you come across a plane figure, watch out for a reference axis as you have to find the distance of centroid from these axes. The second type of axis is the centroidal axis. This is the axis which passes through the centroid of the plane figure. Usually they are denoted by double letters like x-axis -x and y-y-axis. Now moving on to the final type, the symmetrical axis. This axis divides the whole figure into equal parts. The part of figure to the left and right of this axis will be identical. We have different types of symmetrical axis. Number one, completely symmetrical. The figure is symmetrical in both x and y directions. Then we have planes which are symmetrical about yy axis. In this case, the centroid will stay somewhere on the symmetrical axis. So, no need to find the x coordinate. In third type, we have planes which are symmetrical about xx axis. In this type, the centroid of the plane will lie on this axis. So, need not find y coordinate of the centroid. Then there are few shapes where we cannot have a symmetrical axis. They are composite shapes and we need to find both x and y coordinates of centroid in such shapes. So, this is all about types of axis. To sum up, in this video, we learnt about center of gravity, the centroid, difference between the two of them, and then we learnt about different types of axis. So, having learnt all these basic terminologies, we will derive centroids for some of the basic shapes in the coming videos. Do watch out for that.